Okay, I'm getting packed up, getting ready to go to Europe to go to the Alps and meet a group in a few days. We're going to do our Matterhorn to the Mont Blanc trip that starts in Zurich, Switzerland. And then we go to Champax Lake, Switzerland, on to St. Bernard Pass and into Italy to Aosta and then Kong. From Kong, we head towards Comayer. And from Comayer, we go through the Mont Blanc Tunnel where it takes us to Chamonix and spend the last couple days in Chamonix, France. So we go through Switzerland, Italy, and France. I wanted to go over the electronics that I'll be bringing for my trip. Here I've got my, right here, I've got my iPhone uh, that I shoot a lot of my videos on actually. I use the iPhone a lot to shoot my videos because it's super convenient. It's always on me and uh, has decent audio and um, it kind of gets the job done. I've used a Sony RX100 Mach 5, but one of the things with Adventure Travel, the retractable lenses that have the little uh, lens lids on them, they get dusty and then they don't work. So I always have a, a struggle with that. I wanna show you what else I'll be bringing on my trip to Europe um, along with my iPhone to shoot uh, videos. And uh, here we'll just go through all the electronics right now. Okay, so what am I bringing? First of all, this trip is in Europe and it is a lodge-based trip. So we're staying in hotels every night. So I have good charging capabilities each night. So basically uh, the uh, thing I'll be shooting with is my cell phone, which I'm using right now as a camera. And then I've got my DJI Osmo Pocket, which I'm really liking a lot. It's uh, very convenient to take out and start up. I rarely use my phone on it. I kind of just shoot with the small screen. Um, it does have the option to hook your phone into the side here, but it sets up really quickly and uh, it's got decent audio and it's got a great uh, Steadicam setup uh, gimbal. I'll bring my uh, GoPro session. I have a little bit of a selfie stick that's been kind of abused, but it gives me a little bit of extension uh, to hold into action shots. Usually I'm only shooting with the GoPro in tight situations like in the cockpit of a helicopter or a, uh, on a boat or someplace in, inside where the, the uh, uh, wide angle lens really helps me a lot. Then I, then I have my drone here, I have my DJI um, uh, uh, Mini here, the, the small guy, and uh, that works out really great. And along with that, it's got one battery on it right now, and two batteries here. Um, and then I have the battery charging bank and the appropriate cords over there for that. Uh, as far as charging goes in, Europe, anywhere we go, I bring my all-in-one travel adapters. These things are super cool because they work with any country that you can go to all-in-one. There's not a bunch of parts and pieces to it. And the cool thing is you've got uh, your outlet right here to plug in, say, a regular outlet style plug like that. But you also on the side have two USB charging ports that can all be, you could charge two things off USB and one off a regular plug all at the same time. And it's nice because uh, it's got a little red indicator light on the top here. So when you plug in somewhere, especially in a foreign country, um, making sure that you are indeed getting power to your, uh, your device. It's a travel adapter. It's got a surge protector in it. I usually travel with two of those. So when I can charge, I can charge all at once. I'll just bring one uh, small Go, uh, Goal Zero um, Venture Flip 30 here for this trip because I'll be charged up most every day. I might throw a second in there. It's not too much to bring. And uh, then, of course, I've got my controller for my Phantom uh, uh, drone, and I got this little cord. I did upgrade the cord from the one they send you. And I've, I found that with the upgraded cord, I was losing signal on my drone when it was not what should be out of range. And um, when I upgraded the signal, I bought, you know, a higher quality signal. This one's made by Anchor. And uh, uh, then I hooked in directly uh, to my device with a, with a better 
cord and it really made the difference. I, I rarely lose signal like I was there for a while. I've got this uh, Manfrotto uh, small tripod that holds my phone real easily. I also have the adapter so um, I can take off this and put on this and then I can use the uh, Osmo Pocket um, on top of the, the drone. It, it works like so or on top of the uh, tripod it works like so and then I have a tripod for my Osmo Pocket. Um, I like to bring this is just a, a auto rotating head. It can do time lapse normal or fast so I can set this on top of the tripod as well. Put maybe this on top of that and do a spinning shot especially with the time lapse it looks pretty cool if you also pan while you're doing your time lapse video. Then uh, I bring my MacBook uh, Pro small guy um, along with that this adapter here is a double card reader and also has a couple USB ports and an HDMI which I won't need on this trip but that's good I usually bring a backup um, card reader as well and uh, some backup cards I have had problems in the past where one of my cards went bad um, they can fill too I go with you know quite a bit of space open but uh, either if they fill up or um, just aren't working properly I get a card error I got some extra cards in there usually I bring a couple of uh, USB drives uh, just in case I have to transfer information for whatever reason to you know since I am guiding and working and, and things like that just to have with me my charging cord for my computer got a charging cord USB for my phone that goes on to the travel adapters and then I want to make sure that I've got a couple extra cords I've got uh, the one cord here that will do my GoPro as well as my Osmo Pocket and um, I'll probably bring a backup of that. Cords I usually double up on just because they can fail at any time. And uh, then you toss them and just use a different one. They're easy to replace in most places, but uh, you know, a couple of these cords here that would charge my um, communication device. I'm gonna bring my inReach uh, satellite communicator, inReach Explorer, that way if there's any remote messaging that I need to do, an emergency situation, I've got that. Um, always love to fly with my noise canceling headphones. These are great though. They really help me relax on the long flights. Um, I don't really wear them around town or anything, but I definitely bring them for the flights. Uh, then a couple of just this, this guy is for my phone. It actually ca carries my regular phone and my travel phone. Um, I won't be bringing my travel phone this time because I'm going to be in Europe. So in Europe, I'll just use my international plan. Um, when I need it, it's $10 a day to use in Europe, so I'll just do that. Um, a little case to carry all of my cords in, a little case for my drone, and then a little bit bigger case for all of the stuff. So I'm going to pack it all up in there, and um, I will carry this on the flight with me. More and more um, batteries, uh, external batteries, like this Goal Zero, even though it's small, if you put it in your checked bags, they might take it from you. So I always fly and carry my electronics so nothing is missing when I arrive. Okay, so that's kind of covering the, the electronics that I'm gonna bring for the European Alps Matterhorn to the Mont Blanc trip. Like I said, we are lodge-based, hotel-based, beautiful hotels every night in, in really cool Alpine villages, Switzerland, Italy, and France. Um, so it'll be great for photos, great for video, and uh, flying the drone and things like that and uh, hopefully I'll get great footage and I uh, will make some great videos out of it. Uh, as I pack up tonight I will go over the rest of the gear that I'll be bringing uh, on my trip to Europe.